Hey guys, so today we are making one of Disney's most beloved princesses, Princess Amanda from the hit movie Anastasia. I love how detailed this dress is. I love that I even painted the headband that came with the doll. I think this turned out great, so let's get started. My name is Princess Jasmine and you're watching I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. Go, go. <laughs> We're making a Princess Jasmine doll cake and I love this, so let's get to it. To create this doll cake, you're going to need your Wilton's doll cake pan. I love this thing. I made so many doll cakes from it and I'm going to continue with it. Because this is really high, I always have problems cutting it into three equal layers. So these are kind of equal and they're also kind of level. Not really. So I took the bottom cake, I added some buttercream into the middle and just spread it out with my offset spatula. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, add another layer of cake and then add some more buttercream. I'm using peaches and cream buttercream. Mm, that would be good, right? This is just vanilla, but a boy can dream. Buttercream in between the next layer and then I add the final layer of cake. Then I gave my entire cake a crumb coat. After that, I took my cake, placed it into the fridge to chill, and I was actually watching my favorite movie of all time. Can you guess? The Terminal. You guessed it! Wow! Nobody ever guesses that because nobody really likes that movie. Except for me. I love the movie. Oh man. I love airports. I love them. Whenever somebody needs to go to LAX, they call me. Because I love driving it. I love... The, the drive to LAX, which is not even a beautiful drive. Oh, and I love going around in a circle around the airport. It is so much fun. I don't know why. There's people going in and out of the lanes, and so you can't really be like aggressive, like, no, you can't come in. It's not your turn yet. You're constantly having to be like, hey, come in. Come in now, come in, come in, come in. It's not like that in LA. In LA, it's like, don't come in my lane. You don't belong here. Turn right, no. This left lane is not for you either. Everybody's so mean. I hate driving in Hollywood. It's the worst. I get panic attacks sometimes when I think about having to drive to Hollywood. And the tourists don't even get me started. Let's get back to this cake, you guys. Now, I covered my entire cake with some jasmine dress color fondant. What color is this? It's in between two shades, is what I'm going to say. It's in between Placid Sea and Bella Vista, okay? Somewhere in between there is the jasmine dress color. Bear, I don't know what's going on with you, but you need more choices. You've got like 100 here, you need like 300. I can't do this. I can't even find the perfect shade. What if I wanted to paint my room this color? Oh, it's ridiculous. I covered the entire cake. Because this is a doll cake, I am just accentuating and allowing all the folds that fall naturally to be seen. Now I push the fondant into the middle of my cake and then place my jasmine doll inside. Now I'm gonna wrap her waist with a little bit of fondant as well just to seal her in and just complete the v-shape at the top of the dress. Now I wanted this dress to have a lot of like texture and movement so I'm using a fondant roller just to add some texture to make it look like fabric at the top. Then I paneled a layer of fondant. So the first shade is in between Placid Sea and Bella Vista, and this is like a Placid Sea and Paradise Sky, somewhere in between these two. I'm just using some fondant tools to add texture and make it look even more fabric-like. It's like a flowing dress, that's what you want it to be, as opposed to just pieces of fondant on top of each other. Then I took this really long pentagon of fondant and I wrapped it around her waist. It's upside down and the point is actually at her belly button. And it exposes most of her waist. Now I wanted there to be some flowing detail on top, almost like, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna take more of that paradise -y fondant and just create some fabric-like texture around her bust area. Now after I finished creating my basic jasmine dress, I started to add some detail. Now I noticed from the live action trailer that they used a lot of peacock feathers and so I used my peacock fondant mold to create some pieces as well. I just started to attach them to the bottom of the dress, probably like three fourths down. So three at the front and then I added some on top of the paradise sea fondant as well. 
Now I create a whole bunch of doll cakes on this channel. If you wanna see more of my creations, including my Tiana doll cake, which is my favorite so far. I will link them at the end of the video and also down below. Now this dress is very plain looking, right? Now this actually looks okay, but I wanted to add a lot more detail to this. So I'm adding some piping detail, piping out some very, I don't know, classy looking detail. <laughs> Very jasmine-y, uh, bougie, super expensive looking, old timey detail. And I'm switching between a star tip and a variety of Wilton's round tips. So we've got like a number two and a number five. The different size tips really adapt to this design. Now whenever I create a design like this for a doll cake, I don't draw it out at all. Um, I just go with the flow. So if I like something, then I'll repeat that pattern all over the dress and then I'll add to it with some small beading work with a different tip. But it also gives you the freedom to explore what sort of design you'd like to add on your dress. You can totally just copy mine, but you should do whatever you want. Change it, add some more detail, add less detail. Don't add less detail, add more detail. But also remember that the guy who said that is a guy who over designs everything. I mix a little bit of magic sauce with some silver and white pearl luster dust and I just started to paint them too because I wanted to add depth. You know, you got some of the white showing but you also have this really shiny highlight of silver and white. Ugh, so beautiful. I'm going to do the exact same thing with a mustard yellow fondant but I'm going to do it with gold. Just paint all of the gold onto my beading work as well as all of the different design elements I created on the first layer of fondant. After I finished all of this stuff, I realized that I wanted more detail on the front of the dress. So I went back, piped out a little bit more, and I tried to recreate shapes that resembled the palace that Jasmine lives in. You know that big dome? That is a fancy house, man. Imagine how much dome space you got just like in your living room. What? Do they use that for anything or is it just like big? Their air conditioning bill must be extremely high because yeah, I don't know how you're gonna keep that whole place cold. Once I finished adding designs, I painted that with gold luster dust as well. Then I decided to add one final touch and upgrade her headband as well. I just painted some gold luster dust onto it. It comes off you guys. <laughs> Now, it'll come off on your hands if you're trying to play with this doll. And voila, my jasmine doll cake is complete. Da, 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 da. As you can see, I added some gold trim to the bottom of the dress. I just thought it looked so fancy. It looks so cool. I am super proud of this cake. Well, as soon as I saw the Aladdin live action trailer, I was like, I need to do a jasmine cake. I don't know why it's not on the channel already. It's on the channel now. There will be two more Jasmine cakes because I want to do Jasmine but live action version as well. So when those dolls come out, you can expect me to create two more designs as well as a magic lamp and the genie. Now make sure you hit that notification button so you can see all the videos I post on this channel as soon as they go up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!